politics watch. This is certainly. Now, today I'm going to be talking about two things. The first one will be right, about a shootout to take place in West Milan, where the security forces right, you know, trail some rounds with some 87s who just carry out a big ATM robbery. You've been hearing about them ATM robberies? Well, in one of them, there was a shootout, one 87 dead, and next one got arrested. You won't believe right, who the one who get lack of this. Well, you will because you don't know Iron Man. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the Salvador. Right, just to give an update because you know some talk about this country from time to time. Tell them say the Salvador is the measuring stick for death and destruction when it comes down to gang warfare. We now know how much murders they had last year and it's truly mind blowing. Now to start off with the robberies in, in the West Milan. There was a recent ATM machine robbery. Right. Security forces were alerted, gave chase, got into a shootout with some men right, traveling in our car. Right. Rounds were exchanged. When the smoke cleared, right, then find one Dave McKenzie, right, dead. Then one on the next dude. Randina Allen. Randina, get it? Dino. Remember him? Remember the David on him? The same brother with Nigel, a flash to cash. Live the life. I think he may have what was it? Any CR something like so. That live read gold Nigel. Don't look like he was having a very hard time. Man, that same Dino. And they think it tells him no way. Not the innocent man. Uh, that people say me tell life on. Uh, to my bad mind, him for your money, I'm going to jail. Remember that? Be some bad mind, you know. Because I'm going to be a cash in a jail. Well, he was released. Uh, last summer, I'm telling the same soon to the road. Back to the foolishness. Let me give you a little backstory and show you how the justice system uh, contribute to things like this. Dino. You know, was convicted in about 2012, I think, right, for illegal possession of firearm, shooting with intent, and robbery with aggravation. Let me say them charges again. Illegal possession of firearm, shooting with intent to kill, and robbery with aggravation. 2012. Despite all those charges, he was released last year, 2022. So, 10 years, all of that. All of them things that I just tell about 10 years, they let go back on the road. You see, if we had the new axe, the new firearm act in 2012, he may have still that jail for at least the next five years before them even catch him on the suiting with intent and robbery with aggravation. You see, all of them stories that come like case studies. When you hear them things, you can understand why I identify from a long time, say, a legislation and the justice system that are keeping them 87 years after all, are sentencing them appropriately, right? That will help keep down certain bandits in the Iron Man because of the same man, them are the same crime. Them. The man got jailed for 10 years, come out, and now he's back in custody. Right? You're telling me, right? Being a buck, and the robbing already, the shooting already, right? You must be thinking they said, no, man, he can't be the same, Dino. Must be. It can't be the saint from Saint Elizabeth. A lie. Can't be just touch the road. Surely my enjoy freedom because you know, back on road and ten years don't need to lie more. Live some life. Live some life. This is living life. People like you. It's how the man I live in a jail. He was living good. You look like me. I miss all for nothing. You know. So me tell him say, you not have a hard time convincing me enough for them so called bad man you're straight enough. Come in an old man for that jail ten years. Every time you see them in a jail, in a video, they're happy. Right? Happy like pig in a mud. Or man feels happy in an environment while there's be a man in the road, no need to lie inside. They you know it's kind of spooky, but I phone the general them, right? I don't know, give them ratings. I big them up. But something can't write this up. Right? 10 years away from me, to lie. Right? If me do 10 years of jail, right? but they even want, they within a 50 mile radius of our next gunman. 
next thing go tell me so you want to go do something now. You want to say more. I may have 10 years to catch up man. Anyway, a week before the shootout, right, where Mackenzie lose him life and didn't get catch. Remember there was a big ATM robbery when the thief bought 8 million, nice same as man. Look kinda of spooky now, don't it? Seeing as how Dina them get catch. Right, leaving an ATM robbery. And a week before. Right, it was a big ATM robbery. Right. Then find by the machine about the $8 million dollar gone. See, there's been a team causing chaos in Westmoreland. I know that Dina and his boy them get catch. Right. Escaping from one of the same ATM robberies. Right. It is very likely them play a role in the other one them too. I mean it's plausible. And if you turn outside them all it all for ATM them in a Westmoreland and do a robbery them right, right across the various parishes then he come back to the same thing or the same man them right them are set back on the streets to commit the same crimes that's complete madness remember Dino one of the people them that helped turn St. Elizabeth into a parish that is now looking spooky after decades of being one of the quietest places in the area man St. Elizabeth was a place where you could have walked any hours a night anyway right, and half look over your shoulder the idea of people, right, of like gunman are broken at this and broken at that and all kind of shootings and it's a fairly new concept, right, for enough people in St. Elizabeth, I'm not saying no murders ever take place ever in St. Elizabeth before Dino, Simple Simon, I'm not saying that, right, but the way things are run now, people are not used to that, Dino them play a big role, right, in a turn the parish, but look, right, even from behind bars, man that jail, Recording videos having fun with him any sale in cash. See that put out him hits. Imagine them see that and the man come back on the road same way. If there was an updated prison app, right, he would have provided the evidence right, to get himself for extra 10 years. If there was an updated prison app right, for people like Dino right, in a jail, alright, since you want to your record from video and pose on alright, see some extra time, right, see them back in a jail. If we had an updated firearms act or an updated prison act, Dino would still be behind bars. But instead, they're on the streets, right, a shootout with police and a kill with all kind of robberies and who knows what else. Madness. But as I said, the money on the rate, and the money I walk to this one to the feel sorry for. So, good luck to you if you would walk to this. Open the figure it out. If you ever walk up and ask somebody like Dino, don't forget, call the police. I'm talking about El Salvador for the video end. Me see El Salvador put out them numbers for murders last year. 496. 496 murders in El Salvador in 2022. Should I put that in the context? Remember me telling you that it looked like I'm going to go under 1000? I thought it was going to be like maybe 8 900. 496. Let's put that in a context. Trinidad have a population of about 1.5 million. They had over 600 murders last year. Ironman population just called it 3 million. Over 1400 murders last year. El Salvador, the home of Barry 18 and MS 13, the population of 6 million. 6 million people had 496 murders from about last year march them bring in a soe and i'll know it at one they just keep reapproving it reapproving it basically it's a rolling soe non-stop in about 11 times or so right they update it they also show off them brand new prison where them build but make things very difficult for the damn them for barrier 18 and ms 13 Right. Send out call and all kind of things. So, you know, naturally, the human rights groups are not happy. But you know who is happy? The people in El Salvador. Somehow, their president, who the international community has labeled a uh, tyrant, basically, spy policies they're bringing, somehow has the highest popularity right, rating of any president right now. When they say a president or a prime minister have an approval rating of a board, 50% that is extraordinarily high. Right. Look on the US president, 
is somewhere around like 45. Now, keep them popular. It's about 45, 48%. That's very high. Bekele Lea, whatever I want him, is like 75, 80%. So the international community is saying tyrant, monster, evil. But the people in the country are saying don't go, stay 10 more years. You see, when I can understand, when you have a situation like El Salvador, you're going to have to please somebody. It's either going to be your own country and your own citizens, or you can please international communities and the work to this, right? who are living in your country but are the minority and 99% of the time are well sheltered and far away from the violence. The local man in the streets in El Salvador adores the president. So, we have to ask ourselves the question. If the people elect the leaders and the people demand the leaders act, and then the leaders act and the people support that leader, who is the international community? They say something is wrong, yes. If the people felt like they were being abused, the people would be like, they say, this is why right, I'm not a fan of folk to this, you know, because they love insult people's intelligence. They think they know a better for you. If the people in El Salvador right, felt they were being you know, oppressed, how can the president have such a high approval rating? How can the parliament keep approving the SOE over and over because the constituents want it? Right? The people would have turned against him. When you think people in a sense, El Salvador, bad man place, I go still don't understand that. So. The people must celebrate 496 murders. These policies are too harsh. The security forces and people in the I describe and Pharisees as that. I tell them already how oh, me look on them things. Eh? If the people do not support the mandate of a leader, then they must vote out that leader. But if they do, then that leader should be allowed to lead. So now they say when you have situations like El Salvador, Trinidad, Ironman and them place say, don't think say conventional nonsense is going to work. You're going to have to upset somebody. The idea is say you can change crime in a country like Ironman or Trinidad or El Salvador with upsetting nobody, that's not unicorn dogs. The old type of people who make history are the people them who take risks. Bold leaders. We tell them already say, your favorite Ironman leaders don't strike me as the type. But, like we see. Anyway, Asian squad, you go for yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. Whole life. Ultra squad. See you circling. Bless.